Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, back with another tutorial, and today we are talking all about Udemy reviews. So if you're new to the Udemy system and you're an instructor or possibly thinking about creating a course, reviews are going to be something very important to you. If you've ever done any shopping on Amazon, one of the things that you take into account is reviews on a product, and Udemy reviews are no different. If you kind of take off your instructor hat and think about yourself as a student and you go to a course landing page, one of the things that you're going to look at is not only how many reviews that they have, but what is the overall rating and what are some of the things that other students are saying about the course. So reviews are very important and we're going to talk through a couple things today. One, kind of how to get reviews when you're a new instructor. And two, kind of taking the good and the bad and how to respond to those reviews uh, as you get them. Because you're going to get bad ones. There, I mean, unless you're just perfect, uh, there's going to be some bad reviews. And you need to learn how to deal with it and have a little bit of a thick skin. And so let's talk through a couple of these things. So I actually have two courses on here. These are the course landing pages here. I have uh, Learn Spring Boot and the Complete Apache Groovy Developer Course. And so let's kind of talk about, this is actually the first course I had, the Learn Spring Boot. So let's talk about a couple of ways that you could get some new reviews on your new course. So one strategy is, um, you know, sending out this, sending out free coupons to friends, family, or coworkers. So I actually work on a pretty big team. Um, we have about 20, 25 developers. And one of the first things I did was send out a free coupon to everybody I work with and said, hey, you know, if you can, please go ahead and take this. Uh, if you feel like you have something nice to say uh, or some constructive feedback, please go ahead and leave me a review. It really helped me out a lot, you know, in turn for giving them a free coupon to your course. Uh, do it with friends and family as well. Um, and you don't want, you know, you don't want fake reviews on there, but you want honest, you know, constructive feedback. Uh, obviously, if your brother is going to trash you on there, you probably tell him to stay away from there. But for the most part, friends and family, especially when you give them free coupons, will do just that. So that's one way. Another way is you could completely make your course free right out of the gate. So, you know, we can say, let's just open it up for free. When you get to a certain number of students, say 100, 200, um, go ahead and turn it back over to a paid course. And then that way you get some people in there taking the course and hopefully get some reviews. Because again, it's really hard to get off that ground running without any reviews. So really, once you open up the course, before you even start mass marketing it, that's probably one of the things that you'll want to do. So now let's talk about reviews. So one of the things that I'm, I try to maintain here is a pretty good overall rating. So right now I have a 4.5 on here with 450 ratings and a 4.5 on here with 49 ratings. And for my category, which is programming or software development, that's pretty good. I think that's a little bit above average. And so that's one thing that I constantly pay attention to. You want to, if people do have issues with the course or you know they're not just slamming you to slam you and they actually have constructive feedback that's something that you're going to want to listen to and try to address uh, you're not going to please everyone and, and that kind of takes me into another thing um, you know th there are going to be bad reviews and you need to try and take them with a grain of salt uh, one bad review is not going to ruin your course. Uh, one one-star review, you know, I've had plenty of one-star reviews with no description of why they went there. Um, you know, you could think maybe it's a competitor, maybe it's just somebody who wasn't really happy. At the end of the day, you're not gonna you're not gonna please everyone. the The better overall goal here is to keep that overall rating up because that means the bulk of the people watching your course really enjoyed it so I do a, a lot I post a lot of positive reviews on my blog but I thought it'd be good to just go through and look at some of these and look at both the positive and the negative so to get to the reviews we can just jump down here again we'll see the overall rating which is 4.5 we can see the five stars of four stars and again like I said I do have some one stars in here 
So these are pretty good, it provides a lot. Um, the tutorials are good, but it doesn't contain much about the advantages and use of Spring Boot, which is fine. Some of these things too, you can address and say, well, you know, I kind of, as long as your course description is written correctly, that could answer some of these reviews. So if I saw that like this particular one said it doesn't uh, contain much about the advantages or uses of, of Spring Boot, maybe I could tweak my course description a little bit more to make sure that the student knows that up front. Um, course is very well, then explains the material, that's great. So here's a bad one. So this is, it's a BS course, just the primary idea only for beginners who does not know Spring. So it's not a great course, uh, a great uh, feedback. Um, again, I think this is a lot to do with the description. Um, maybe I need to tweak the description a little bit more so that people understand that this really is an introduction. You know, the name of the, the course is a, a Spring Boot introduction. So we're really just teaching kind of the basis of Spring Boot. So great course, I really like the course. Now uh, let's see, let's go back down. Uh, didn't demonstrate everything. He expects a particular level from an audience in Java, which is true. We do have some requirements up front. You should know Java uh, if you don't know that. And actually does say that in the requirements and the description of the course. So again, this is probably something I can reply back to and say, hey, uh, you know, that was in the course description. I'm sorry uh, that you didn't that, that you didn't understand that going in. Um, then, then you can also, what I want to talk about too is replying to some of these. So I haven't replied to these yet, but say this one, Bruno had a really nice thing to say and I just replied back. Thanks, Bruno. Um, and you'll see throughout here, I do give um, just little short ones and then uh, cool but boring in some places. So this is weird. This must have been, I think at one point this was like a three-star review and he said cool but boring in some places. So, you know, I just try and reply and say, hey, there's a lot to cover here. I was, you know, I'm trying to get feedback here. Was it too much talking in slides at some point? Uh, because that's valuable feedback I can use to go ahead and kind of tweak and, and make it a little bit better. So there's that. Uh, if we go over here again, I have 49 ratings out of 315 students. If we jump down here, these have been pretty good so far, mostly four and five. Uh, this was an awesome one. So this says, this course is extremely well structured. Goes like this in each topic. One, Dan just shows you how to uh, smooth theoretical introduction. Two, a lot of cool code comes. Three, and wow, you're making a very cool code too. Very good, Dan. So I just said, hey, that seriously made my day because it did. Uh, to the point, and the person knows his stuff. So again, there are some bad ones mixed in here, but I, I think kind of what I want to drive home with this is don't get too hung up on it. I think when I first um, got my first first star review, I was pretty sure it was spam because the instructor, the student signed up, left me a one one star review within f probably ten minutes, then uh, asked for a refund, and then just got out of the course. So. You know, I took to the Facebook groups and said, how do I get this removed? You know, I was all worried about it because it was a, you know, bad mark on my course. And now I, I just kind of shrug them off. You know, it is what it is. If, if there's a bad review with constructive criticism in there, then I'll take it. If not, uh, I just kind of say whatever and move on. Um, like I said, you're not going to please everyone. And you need to have a little bit of a thick skin because you're putting yourself out there. And, and this is just something that you're going to have to learn to work with. So that's kind of the review stuff. What I want to show you is internally, when you're logged into your course here, you can see all these reviews and you get a little bit more information. So this is, an, this is a review, but then they also tick, uh, kind of check what they found um, was good in this course. So did this course have valuable information? Yes, were there clear explanations? Uh, was the speaker giving engaging deliveries? Uh, did they have helpful practice examples? Because if you're not going through and learning this stuff and doing it, then um, it's not you're not going to retain that information. Uh, accurate course description. This kind of helps when you know you do get some of those. Uh, you know, if you get a lot of people not saying that the course had an accurate description, 
that might be an indicator to come back and reword um, that course description. And then did the instructor know his stuff? So you can come down here and here's one where it said this didn't have helpful practice examples. Uh, these look good, these look good. Um, and then these, sometimes they just give a review, they don't actually go through. When somebody didn't check anything here, I kind of just take it as they gave me a star review, but they didn't really go any further with this. Here, um, they're clearly saying that no, they did not have helpful practice examples. So if you start to get a lot of that, that's something you may want to focus on in your course and, and really kind of hone in on and, and try and improve. And then obviously here you can kind of filter down. So if I just want to see all my one stars, I can see that here. You can see there's that one. Not only did he leave me this, I uh, went through and basically said everything sucked. Um, content's good, but the presentation quality is poor. These sounder, the sound of the instructor most of the time cannot be heard. Uh, there's a one star, but this is kind of weird. He gave me pluses on all of these. So again, I think the point of this is you're going to get good and bad reviews. You need to work on getting reviews right away. Um, that's going to be important to kind of tell, to kind of verify to other students that, hey, I'm not the only one telling you that this is going to help you in this scenario or help you learn this subject. Other students are also validating that, there's social validation there, that this is going to help you accomplish what you've set out to, to accomplish. So get those reviews in, um, find different ways to get them in. Like I said, um, there, are, there are a bunch of different ways that you can kind of get those initial reviews. And then make sure you're not only responding to, to questions, but responding to reviews. If there's bad reviews and you don't understand why, respond to it. You can come in here right here and I can respond to this review. And some of the times, like with this one star, I'm not I'm he's probably not gonna respond, so I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna respond to this one. But sometimes you will get constructive feedback and that's what we're looking for. We want this review we, we need these reviews to help us get information to improve our courses. So I hope that helped out a little bit with reviews um, on the good and the bad and the ugly. But um, if you have any more questions, please let me know. And if this helped out, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video.